To this now, the case against 15 suspects arrested in connection with corruption at Fort Hare University has been sus as postponed rather up until tomorrow the group making their first appearance this morning in the Dimbaza magistrates court in the Eastern Cape one of the accused has abandoned bail while two others were released on 50,000 rand bail now the suspects were arrested in various provinces over the Easter weekend they face fraud and corruption charges All right, the Minister of Police attending that case, and he joins us this evening. Minister, good evening to you, and thank you very much for your time. Your words today at that particular court case are that rather than going after the small fish who are trigger pullers, you are determined to go after those who are at the top structure of the criminal syndicates. Uh, talk to us about the task team that has been assembled to deal with this case. What do you believe they're doing right? Well, good evening, Toby. Uh, good evening to <coughs> listenership. Uh, just uh, came back from Eastern Cape. One is in Pretoria uh, now. Yeah. The journey Today's journey starts on the 14th of January last year when we were bearing um, Mr. Vessels, the bodyguard or the protector of the VC uh, between the uh, We made the commitment that he, the rot in that university will have to come to an end because clearly he was the second victim and you could see that something silly uh, was happening there. So. The team was assembled. Uh, I would not give you the structure of the team by the National Commissioner, uh, but pulled together different resources from different provinces. Uh, remember, because this is not the first group. Almost 10 people have been already arrested there. And those that are charged for murder, the, the, the three capulas, and those that organize the logistics, like the who brought the cars, who stole the cars from other places, uh, other provinces, to be able to go and put logistics for that kind of crime. Yeah. This was the second lot. Uh, this was the second lot, these uh, 15 that were uh, put, toge put together today from different provinces. There was a very big job that uh, was done uh, over the long weekend uh, from uh, basically to be three provinces, your Houghton, your KZN, uh, Western Cape, and Eastern Cape, four provinces. Yeah. Uh, the, the, we, we believe that uh, police have taken their time rather than dealing with the individuals <coughs> that uh, could have uh, dealt with the logistics. They've gone to the big planners. Uh, whom we believe that some of them, if you look who they are, and you look in the amount of money, the money that has been looked like uh, suffering, there's 171 million still counting uh, going forward. And the top people that have been there, including uh, those people that have been hired to do the good job and protect the university at the level of security, at the level of HR, at the level of people that were supposed to deal with the discipline of the university. Most are those people that have been taken in uh, to, to answer their cases. Yeah. Minister, you will remember at the height of this case, there was huge worry, and I think one man, who simply had lost all confidence in South Africa's law enforcement was the Vice Chancellor himself, who at the time was understood to be possibly the main target. Do you get a sense now that you have restored his confidence in the belief that the police in South Africa can indeed do their jobs properly? I think he had all the rights, Paul. Uh, I attended the funeral of his uh, protector. Uh, it was a sad moment. I saw the young kids there. Uh, unfortunately, some of the people that are arrested were there as mourners and comforters to the family uh, of, of, of that victim. Uh, we, he, he did raise the issues. He did 
put on the table that uh, he was almost lost all the confidence. Maybe hence he spoke to the president. And the president uh, really assembled some of us, especially spoke to the national commissioner and the minister of police uh, to, to look at it, uh, what's going on there. We involved the minister of higher education, we all spoke. Uh, whether the, the confidence has been really uh, regained with him, he's there to speak for himself. But listening to him today was a completely different person. Um, then the person that I've listened several times, we have met him several times in Eastern Cape, uh, besides the funeral, I think I had other two meetings, and uh, I met him on the first uh, uh, arrest of the first batch, uh, but I thought today was more relaxed, and more, as you say, regaining the confidence of the law enforcement in the Republic. Minister, I'm going to then press on to other matters. The AKA and Tibbs murder case, and whilst we're on the topic of going after Big Fish, the Kaba family name has been mentioned in this case. This was in court. I want to ask you a straightforward question, and that is, do you believe that Mfundo Kaba is the paymaster who contracted the alleged killers. Well, poli uh, again, police don't just sleep and dream who to pick up tomorrow morning. Uh, they do their work, they investigate, and they follow the pointers. Uh, it's another very interesting case. Uh, you remember we've been under pressure, even from yourself, whenever I spoke to you, you asked the question. Uh, and people are just wondering that we, we had first clue in, in February uh, no, in March, when AK was murdered in, fe in, 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 in February. So we, we have been, but again, it was in this approach of dealing with the structure rather than dealing with the individual. The first person was arrested on the 22nd, and uh, we have kept quiet under a lot of pressure and all that. So we will wait for the, for, for the investigation. For now, police to put the name of Mfundo Taba uh, on the papers and on the affidavit, which means something that uh, they, they found something there. Uh, it, it cannot be my belief, uh, it, it will be the facts that they will put on the table. I know the matter is in court, is being argued uh, both sides from the defense and, uh, and, and the state, so let's wait for that. So it should not what it should not be what I believe. It shouldn't be what the teams have put on the table. But up to this point, we are very comfortable. We are, we are very uh, uh, comfortable and looking forward to that the police will continue to do the work that is good so far, uh, so good with what they have done with the case of AK, AKA. But in essence, I think what I'm reading for you from you is that you believe that the police have a solid case. The words you like using is that this is a watertight case. If that's indeed what you believe, how crucial is it that the two accused who are arrested in Eswatini are extradited to South Africa? I, I, I fully believe, uh, as, as you look at this case unfolding and all that, uh, there are quite several of them, Tony. Is this one? Is the 41? Is Nongoma one? Is AK one? Uh, the, when you see it unfolding and you hear it unfolding, you realize that uh, police have really pushed the second gear in dealing with an organized criminality in the Republic of South Africa. Yes, it will be crucial, uh, but you must also remember that you are putting our hopes on our sister department, that those two guys must come back from, uh, from Eswatini, and uh, we are in touch with the Minister of Justice, who is responsible for that, and he's promising that it, it does look like uh, things will be fine, he will win that badly, and those people will come back to answer for the sins they've committed. The next question, Minister, it's a slightly political one in nature, but very much related to criminality. There's strong belief that the Kaba family does enjoy a close relationship 
with some people, particularly in government circles. Is it your commitment that the police will not be distracted or there will not be interference from politicians if indeed they do believe that the Zaba family could be involved here? Well, as I've said, that the police just need to do the investigation and where the investigation leads them, they need to act. Yes, Gaba, uh, Gaba family is a big family, uh, and it does not come from today. Some people that could be politicians would have happened that they brought together uh, with those, uh, with those when they were young boys. They basically come from Deben, uh, they grew up in Umlazi. There will be many politicians that uh, they, they grew up in Umlazi and surround, uh, around Deben. And originally they come from Nganja and the Transcorp. There will be people, people that they come from there. So, but that personal relationship and growing together as peers and all that should not and is not standing on the way of the police to do their work. Police are trained to say, Work is work, and you separate it from the social uh, relationship. So one is very much comfortable to say where the where the uh, investigation is leading the police to, the police will act without favour, without fear, where they're supposed to do so. Minister, I want to quickly um, touch on other issues. It's so crucial. I have quite a couple here, and time is running out. Electoral matters. Visbin Reddy today, he is understood to be part of the MK party. He's been charged with inciting violence ahead of these crucial elections. How strong a case do you think police have against him? Well, I don't know. As you say, right, uh, he seems to be part of the MK. He has been part of too many other things before. Uh, I, 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 when I heard him saying in one of the social medias, yes, I has moved around, but he has found the home now in the MK. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. You can't call violence, uh, especially in this country, in particular in the province. We cannot allow anybody that calls violence uh, stand up on the platform and call the violence. Uh, besides what happened on, Ju on, on, on July 2021, the history of that uh, province is known by anybody and everybody that is written on the, on the blood ink, uh, definitely. And this one is part of that. It, it comes from the province that grew up there. So if, if those that they, they do as law enforcement, the workers law enforcement, enforce us together with uh, the NPA and all that they find that there is a case, we will have to come and answer that. But what all of us, not just the police, not just the law enforcement, but everybody, even political parties, we should not allow any one of us or anybody to cause violence there because we know the outcomes. And unfortunately, those people that they usually make that kind of noise, they stay safe. Yeah. And other people on the ground, they suffer the consequences of their reckless and silly statements. We believe that uh, the case, uh, he has done that statement for some time ago, maybe for the fact that now he has been charged. Maybe somebody has closely looked at it and they found that there is merit on it for him to answer. Very quickly, Minister, two critical questions, and I'm going to club them into one. The MK party leaders say there was something more sinister in the accident around the convoy of the former president, Jacob Zuma. Do their statements worry you? My final question, there is a strong call for the Speaker of Parliament, Nosevema Pisangagula, to be arrested. How soon do you think that is going to be? Well, the second question, the, the, the processes are going on, uh, but people responsible for that cannot be instructed by anybody but by themselves. And I know for sure that the case is under the ID, is not under the South African Police Service, is under the, 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 the ID. Uh, that's the answer for the second question. The first question, 
I'm not going to comment. I, I have spoken to some leadership, instead, including the spokesperson of the MK, Mr. Angela, to say, you will never pull me to come here and talk about the details, security details of former president or, or present pre, uh, president. One thing that I can say is that the, the, the security details of all former president are on the same path. They are all equal. If people they suspect that there is a foul play, one thing they can do is to go and open the case so that there can be a proper investigation. It doesn't help to make security issues the news. It's not news. It must be followed. Fine facts on it. Police Minister Peggy thank you very much for your time.